I figured, you know, there's got to be someone else out there like me, so. <laughs> Even Western Living Magazine says she's the designer to watch. That's next on the scene. As a top designer by Western Living Magazine, she has her own shop, but what sets her apart is her choice of fabrics. Julie Pithers has the story tonight on the scene. <laughs> Darling, everybody, but everybody's using the newest of fabrics for the new fall line, all except one young upstart who's found these forgotten fabrics. Her fall winter show reflected a couple of things about Lisa's approach to fashion. Rather than hiring rake thin 19 year old models for the runway, she asked turbine customers to show off her wares. And the wares themselves have their own history. She's combed the country for lost and forgotten fabrics, some of it up to 45 years old. There is a challenge for her in the sense that uh, what she finds, she's confined to work with it. She cannot like expand because that's what she has. But at the same time, it, it pushes the limit. She pushes the limit and come up with something that is new with the old. I think there's just something about the processes that were used back then. And, and tailoring was such a, a profession back then, a noted profession. So they only worked with the best. Lisa graduated at the top of her class in design school. Rather than go straight to the drawing board, she hit the ironing board first. I would do anything I could to maintain my experience and develop my experience. And I took some pretty, I, I don't want to say crappy jobs because they all have their values, but, you know, in the big scheme of things, but jobs that a lot of designers wouldn't probably be that interested in taking. Unless you've been in a marketing and cutting room for a while, watching the way things are done and being a part of it, you, you can't know. You can't know how difficult some things are to mark and how much waste there might be in the fabric and, and um, affect the bottom line. And really, the bottom line is everything when you're in this business. Lisa's business plan is to open another turbine shop in the near future. But in the meantime, you can see her designs at her boutique at the Eau Claire Market. For The Scene, I'm Julie Pithers. Steve Rothfels is asking himself if she does ties, right Steve? <laughs> is that what you were wondering?